And speaking of housewives, Buttony Frankel has shown us a new level of audacity. Now she apparently went to TJ Maxx and bought some Manolo Blahnik shoes that turned out to be counterfeit. Somebody bought them from TJ Maxx, returned them, switching them out with the counterfeits and kept the real ones, leaving Bethany to buy the fakes. She wanted TJ Maxx, however, to give her the $292 she spent on the shoes back while keeping the counterfeits. TJ Maxx said no, and she complained, saying, I've done millions of dollars in free advertisements for you. Well, why would you give them free business if you clearly wanted the coin? You could have called your agent and said, let's set up a meeting. But Bethany, you've been butting into everyone's business lately, and it seems like you need a job. What else do you have to do? Why don't you raise that child? Because whining about Walgreens, TJ Maxx, and Andy Cohen every five minutes on TikTok just ain't the look. You're starting to look more weathered than you are. Soon you'll look as leathery as a Manolo. And that's not the way you want to go-go. But now let's get to the Real Housewives of OC because I don't have too much time for a chicken flap like Bethany. So we open with Fecal Bedore and her man making dinner. John wishes that Fecal had more time for him, but I don't know why you'll just get sick of her. Across town, Tamara, Emily, and Heather meet to get their nails done. And Tamara's like, oh yeah, Heather said she had appreciation for those who had to poop scoop. It sounds condescending, but I get what she means. So Heather's complaining about Taylor saying she was condescending, and Emily says, well, you sometimes come off like that. So Heather's throwing a Nobu dinner yet again, and after last year, I wouldn't have done that. They wasted your money last year. They're going to waste it this year, because they ain't cheap. After that, we head over to Jen's yoga class, and Gina drops by to give her a candle. Gina seems like a buy-your-friendship heifer. So she's apologizing to her for the infidelity judgment. So Jen gets to whine about her man cheating on her and making passes on women with flat asses. Emily named her son Keller. Emily gonna have her mom visit, but that was the best fiend scene for me. So we got Heather getting on her pink boat and it's very garish, but her and Taylor have a little pond to row and they get everything back on the good foot. As the ship sets sail, Emily invites everybody to a pool party at her mama house. And we have the acting coach join us as well. I guess she the friend of. And of course, Heather gets everybody a nice candle because candles are the gift of the season. So we reminisce about the trip and Jen and Gina say they on the good foot. But now Tamara starts going in on Jen. Well, I told you a thousand times to just be honest. So Jen said she'd be upset if he cheated, and everybody's like, but you said he already cheated, and now Tamara's worried for her, but I think you just want to hurt her, and I don't know why. Tamara said, well, it hurts. I don't think he's going to be faithful. Jen said, it hurts that you're telling my business. Tamara said, the town is talking, not me, but I'm sorry, honey. All I can hear is you. Now Tamara's saying that he wants to sleep with me. Ooh, Jen said, watch it, Tamara. Tamara threw a napkin. She said, you want me to watch it? All right, let's get a skirmish. How you gonna scream at this girl? Leave your boyfriend, you effing B. So Tamara storms off screaming F you. Fecal Bedore is running after her. So Heather says, look, we just trying to be new friends and make sure you're okay. But if you have anything to say, you might want to spill it now. And Gina says, yeah, I mean, this is a lot. Oh. So Jen's saying that Tamara may have had the hots for Rob too. I could see a threesome and a thruple. There's a nipple in this rubble. So Jen said, well, there was just a lot of joking about how hot he was. So I could see her wanting to sample the schlong. However, Heather lets her know, oh, we've heard from more than one person that uh, your man wanted to sleep with Tamara. Oh, Jesus, Tamara's screaming, I need Xanax. However, now Emily's telling Heather that she has a phony relationship with Tamara. Emily said, you act like you're best friends with her after she cut you off when she got off the show. And so Emily thinks Heather kisses Tamara's ass because she's afraid of her. And she is. So Emily and Gina are over Heather kissing Tamara's ass. Gina asked her point blank, is Heather really my friend or not? But now Fecals brought Tamara back to the table. Heather saying, well, I had some things I was going through at that time. 
And Gina says, well, then lean on me. Tamara tells Jen she's living. She's sorry for throwing the napkin, but she's living. Gina said, you know, you compared my real estate career to your son's. You yelled at me about calling my man. Gina, maybe you should realize Heather just ain't for you and move on, boo-boo. Oh, but now we found out Fecal Bedore's ex is getting a divorce. So Fecal's got to call her kids because the news has hit the internet. So they actually got to eat some food at this little dinner. Well, that was the shit, and I'm going to see you soon for something. Well, let's do 21 minutes of pink toe with crappy leg. Heifer so too. So we open it and Sonya got her bedroom candy out in her hotel room. So they head off to their first mission for the mayor. Ciao. Sonya riding around on a scooter like Grand Dragon Zolciak should be. So they meeting with Bill, the theater director. Luann really gonna say coming from a cabaret background. Now I will say this, I enjoyed your show, but you were off key the entire time. 40 minutes of Catterwall. So they gonna do a variety show to include everybody, which is smart. They know how to be self-centered on their other shows. Luann's upset she ain't getting no schlong. Yeah, I don't know how much talent there is in town here. Okay, one of the firemen is kinda cute. We at the fire station now, but yeah, ain't no men here. Luann made a beeline for the cute one. Girl, Luann in there exercising with him. She sneaks him off to the wardrobe room. I bet you're gonna have him this evening. Oh God, I love the fireman got her name wrong. This is cute though. I wanna know why doesn't the fire department have a dental plan? Cause it really looks like they don't. So they hold their auditions for the follies. So we got our first Hepa doing a uh, interpretive dance with jigsaw makeup on. So we got some average talent nobody too terrible so after their little audition they do some advertisements to get some more folks and we got to do like eight takes of that so now the heifers is going out looking for dick so they get to the bar they get invited to go mudding while they out luann said i'm gonna try to get some bitten dick before i leave now that's a well-traveled hoe well that was the shit so i'm gonna see you soon for they clone tyrone from the streets of New York all the way out to Vegas. It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're famous. Because you can't get someone pregnant in the anus. No, you can't get someone pregnant in the anus. Yeah, yeah. Backpedal and pussy pop. Backpedal and pussy pop. 